2014 uh, is going to be the year when we believe that banks in Europe will start making meaningful changes using the momentum that was built uh, in 2013. What does this mean? I think this means, first of all, that we're going to see an increase in IT investment budgets in order to meet a range of different operational uh, and technological goals. Uh, it can't have escaped anybody's um, notice that there's lots of regulatory change, there's lots of new technological innovation being driven by uh, consumer devices, uh, but there's also problems perhaps with some of the underlying infrastructure uh, that banks are, are, are running on. So 2014 looks set to be a year when we start to see some fundamental changes perhaps planning for core systems modernisation to take place in 2015 uh, and beyond. We also see much more around things like mobility, the expansion of uh, customer channels, uh, the rise of uh, tablets and smartphone devices and, and applications uh, in banking. We must also recognise it's not just good news. Uh, there are some challenges around security threats, cybercrime, uh, data privacy concerns. And so banks are doing a good job uh, to keep their technology running under difficult circumstances, but must also be prepared to make some significant changes and beginning this journey of progressive uh, transformation. For sure, digital banking is very important, but let's not forget it's about traditional banking uh, as well. We must have branch networks, we must have ATM networks, we must also have uh, contact centres alongside smartphone apps, uh, PC-based uh, banking, uh, and the use of perhaps things like social and gamification. It's an exciting time uh, in European banking in 2014. Let's see how the journey continues.